Hello everyone, we are back with part two of our thread up uh, gene box. Um, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles and I run a closet on Poshmark along with my wife Angelique. Uh, links to everything will be below. So, um, this is part two of a thread up denim, uh, let's see, rescue box denim, or DIY denim. Uh, 30 pieces, it was 48 bucks, so it was actually a pretty good, um, pretty good deal. Um, if you watched the first half, you know that there wasn't any really, really spectacular brands in there, but a lot of the jeans were in great condition so um, I've so far been really happy let's see if that trend continues up first we have a pair of Tommy Hilfiger women's uh, let's see if I can find the size here they are a size 16 um, and they actually look like you know they look a little short to be pants I bet they're capris um, which is a shame because I do like, I do like Tommy Hilfiger, um, but capris don't tend to do as good as pants. Although maybe that'll change since we're going into the warmer months. I mean, it's early March when I'm filming this, so we'll see. We haven't even been reselling for a full year, um, so we actually, I actually don't know how spring reselling is. Okay, up next we have a Gloria Vanderbilt, um, and you know I always um, I always say Gloria Vanderbilt. I I don't pick it up when I when we go sourcing um, because it's just not really a it doesn't really sell for a whole lot. Uh, these are size 16, 77% um, cotton, 15% uh, polyester, and oh wait, 77% cotton. 21.5% polyester and 1.5% spandex so they do have a little bit of stretch to them um, it does look like though I don't believe that that is the original button um, so I'll have to make sure to um, when I'm when I'm shooting it I'll have to make sure to take a photo of that um, because I don't want to mislead anyone and, um, you know, these are also another set of capris, so, yeah, kind of, kind of disappointing, um, disappointing there, um, so, maybe we're getting to the worst half of the box. Okay, oh boy, yep, the bad luck continues as we have a mystery brand. So, um, definitely a lot of thought of distress, although it looks intentional. Um, these do look like a nice punk. Uh, yeah, they're very punk. Um, very, very offspring, anti-flag. Um, the Who... <laughs> To name a few pump bands at random, um, yeah, and no, no brand. Um, elastic waist, um, elastic around the ankles too. So probably comfortable, um, but I don't know if we'll actually list them without a brand. So uh, that's three not great jeans right off the bat. But I think we're going to turn it around because we have another pair of. Tommy Hilfiger Capris. Um, these do have the uh, label on the back. I don't remember if the last pair had those or not. Um, they are a size 14. Um, yeah, great condition, just Capris. Um, so, not, maybe not the best pair. Um, all right, ah, man, it, this looks a little slim, so maybe this, 
Maybe this was only 25 pairs, or maybe I went way over 15 in the first half of this video. Ooh, all right, here's something good. We have a pair of Levi's, and they are the 505. That is always the number you want to look for when you're doing Levi's. Um, they are a size 12S, so I believe that's 12 short or 12 small. Um, I shouldn't touch my face. Um, yeah, so I guess um, in the last video I had said I thought the numbers were all... Uh, I thought the numbered Levi's were all men's jeans, but I guess I am wrong because you don't see um, size 12 men's pants. You typically see the uh, you typically see the si the waist and the length. Um, a little bit of wear at the bottom, but not a whole lot. And they are five they are 505, so they should do they should do really good. So. Um, There we go. That'll be a nice. That'll be a nice thumbnail. Which I only bring up because because my wife pointed out that the still frames of my face that I typically use for the thumbnails is uh, kind of look stupid. And looking back at my, I kind of agree. All right, this is uh, as I just saw a J brand. Um, uh, these are size 29. Uh, they feel they feel pretty stretchy, so I don't see the. Um... Oh yeah, uh, two percent elastic, so um, the rest is cotton and mostly cotton. Uh, Ninety-one percent cotton, seven percent polyester, and that two percent elastic, which has given it this nice stretch. Um, not quite jeggings, but still definitely stretchy for. Comfort, great pair, of, great pair of jeans. Um, although I'm not familiar with the brand, but they, they just they feel good quality and they look, they look good. All right, moving right along, we have a. What are these? Uh, the label just has a three, so they're either a size three. Or they're a, oh no, 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 that is not a three. That is a U and a J. Uh, so UJ, um, UJ, the new standard for jeans with design, quality, and value to bring fresh and surprising delight to people of the world. Oh, to people worldwide. Jean innovation from Japan. Uh, so they are the uni Uniqlo. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce Q L O. Um, that's not something that makes sense. Uh, but they're 36, 36 waist, 32 length. Uh, they do have the um, they do have the tag on the back, which has S O O one. Uh, so I don't know if that's the uh, particular. And they're slim fit straight. Yeah, all kind of all over the place um, as far as labels go, but um, they look to be in pretty good condition. Um, just a little bit of uh, the plating, I believe that's called. Um, that just means that the jeans were not turned inside out when they were washed, so uh, some of the pocket kind of wears on the outside, um, but not a whole lot of it. Um, yeah, so they should do pretty good. Um, you know, we haven't done enough with that brand for me to really say, but um, I'm optimistic. All right, and now for our last pair of jeans, they look like something unique because of the waist, but they are American Eagle Outfitters. And what size are they? They are size two stretch. Um, they don't really eh, the, the 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 legs feel stretchy, but the waist is uh yeah that's not that's not gonna stretch. <laughs> um, they do have the two buttons that say American Eagle Outfitters on them. Um, and you know I can't. They look like 
based on the length, they're another set of capris. Um, so I'm not not really sure how well capris do. Um, we haven't really done a whole lot of capris, so I could be talking all this. I could be downplaying capris so much, and then they could all sell really well for us. Anyway, so the second half of that box, um, definitely not as good as the first half of that box. Um, and it feels like, I think I uh, miscounted on um, how many was in the first half of the box versus how many was in the second half. Um, so maybe it's closer to the first two thirds of the box was good. And then this last third was um, where we got all the stuff that's not quite as good. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All that stuff is below. Uh, you know how to use YouTube. I don't need to tell you this, uh, but I do like to remind you because it does help the channel out. Um, we're currently at 11 subscribers, which means we have, uh, we have an announcement video coming up. Um, so <laughs> that'll be fun. Um, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see ya. stick around after the credits so um i'll reward you um the announcement video is going to be announcing what we are going to do to celebrate 10 subscribers um which if you watch my videos which are up here you'll know what that is all right bye